Have you ever thought, man, I hate hardware. Like, look at all of this really expensive hand-machined aluminum and all these beautiful long barrels made out of metal. It's just so hard to use. And like, all of these, these little, these screws, all these screws, they're so awful. I hate screws. Screws are bad. Pins. Pins are worse. Well, I have a blaster for you. This is not well framed. This is the Talonclaw U Cheap Edition. This blaster contains no screws, no pins, no metal. It is almost entirely 3D printed. The spring is a normal spring and it has O-rings and it uses rubber bands for the sear and for the mag releases down here. And the foregrip on this one isn't fully 3D printed because I didn't have time to print that. Um, but the rest of this is entirely 3D printed. 3D printed scar, 3D printed barrel, 3D printed ram, 3D printed plunder tube. With quick swap springs. This is all dovetailed together. And it works great. The plunger tube is a printed plunger tube of a circle, cone, or, you know, I got, I got a piece right here. It's like this, vertical like that. And there's a flat sheet that is then curved up and put around this as a lining, which lets you have a perfectly smooth inside for the plunger tube to seal with. The ram is printed flat on the build plate. So instead of being printed like that, it's printed like that on the build plate. And that lets it stay nice and strong while still uh, sealing and being long enough. Um, the barrel in here, which you can't really see well, but there is a barrel. Uh, that is a hexag hexagonal outside barrel, and it is printed, once again, flat on the build plate instead of vertically. It's flat. The scar is printed vertically, and this is a Trivictus scar. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it. The uh, It's very blown out on this video, but there is dovetails all over this blaster, which keep it together. As you can see, these right here, this slot, that slot, and that slot, are little wings that come off of these parts that then the printed U-channels grab onto. As you can see, there we go. It fires. Here is your not 3D printed magazine, uh, because I don't want to deal with that. Um, but, you know, normal common mag. Here's some darts. It goes in there. Uh, this does have side panels that go across here, um, but the prototypes broke, so um, they're not on it, but it doesn't need those to function. I'm not sure if you can see those, but there are darts coming out of the end of this. Oh, I didn't have it fully closed. But yeah, you can see, there's a dart. You can see through it right there. As I chamber this next one, you'll be able to um, see in the barrel, right here-ish, you'll be able to see the dart going through that. Do you 
see that? There's the dart. <laughs> so if I shine a light through this, which I think should work, you can see there are no metal pieces showing up on this. There's your plunger, which is fully printed still, um, with the O-rings. As you can see, you can see there's infill. No metal. It's all, almost all printed. Uh, so this is still prototype. I have some things to change before I release this. Um, the back cap needs a locking thing, because otherwise this loosens by itself, which is bad. So I need to make a lock for this, which keeps it closed. Um, and I'm going to be changing the front end of this. Um, because since this uses printed priming bars, um, they flex, and printed U-channels also flex. So if I hold it like that to prime it, it works fine. But if I prime it like this, it kind of bends down, and then it doesn't reach the catch at the back, unless you keep it perfectly straight. If you try to prime it down any bit at all, then it's just awful, like that. So, oh, did I turn my dart? I did. I think I did. <laughs> I did. You can see. Right, right there. You can see. AF Pro. Um, anyway, I'll be making a new version of this, which has a front end like my Mini Claw U Blaster, which has something like this that goes over the barrel, like that, and has no U channel past this point. So, a line here and go all the way across all of that is just going to be the barrel sticking out a scar on the end of it and this which goes over the barrel slides over the barrel like this slides over the barrel and then the priming bars will go on either either side of it just like that fully 3d printed blaster and it hits really hard too. I'm not gonna shoot this shot right here, but I'm gonna shoot it across the room. It's hitting just as hard as my normal Talon Claw. Uh, normal Talon Claw U with the same spring. With a printed plunger tube, printed barrel, printed ram. It's, just, it's so good. Um, so yeah, when I finish this, I will be releasing files for it. Now that the light's gone, you can really see the, uh, the infill on some of these parts. So good. So this will be released uh, at some point. It's pretty much done now. I already did the, that edit to use the different front end. I just haven't printed it yet. So, uh, yeah. Yeah.